This is the fact that extreme trust in someone is like inviting trouble in your own life. Trusting usually pays way for cheating. It is true that we should not trust anyone because once trust is broken, our heart is also broken. Hi guys, this is James Jackson. I'm a 25 years old man. I live in Chicago. Currently, I'm working as a graphic designer in a well-known company in town today. Here I am with a thrilling and breathtaking event of my own life that will definitely make you highly shocked in August. But before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel for both thought-provoking and engrossing real couple stories. I want everyone escape from a disloyal life partner. Let's backtrack and revisit 2017 when I joined an academy in order to get training in graphic designing there. I met a girl named Emma who used to be the most stylish and elegant girl in the classroom. I totally fell in love with her. I wanted to express my feelings to Emma but unfortunately, could not have enough courage to do so. There were four people in our house. Me, my mother, my stepfather, my stepsister. I consider myself as the most ignored and unlucky person. Because after the death of my dad, my mother gave all importance and priorities to my stepdad and my stepsister. My stepdad was a really rich businessman. I really got irritated from his presence. My mother wanted me to join my rich stepfather's business, but obviously I could not do that. I aimed to do something with my own effort. I remember once there was a farewell in our academy, my bike punctured that day. My stepfather was about to go to his office and he offered me a drop option. I really did not want to go with him. But by that time I was already getting late. So I accepted his offer when I reached the academy in such a luxury and expensive car. Everyone was staring at me like they were judging. Meanwhile, my dream girl, Emma came to my side and started greeting me. Emma was wearing a blue-colored heavy frock. She was looking like Cinderella. I felt that I was in a fairy tale dream. Even Emma offered me to dance with her. When I reached home at night, I began to think about everything happened today. I was about to sleep. Meanwhile, I got friend request from Emma. It was indeed not less than a dream. I thought she must be interested in me. We started chatting with each, each other with time. We both were getting closer to each other. We used to discuss the whole day's activities. She loved to know about me and my family. She started asking me about my lifestyle. I wanted to tell her about my feelings, but I was waiting for my degrees and diploma certificates so I could marry her. Finally, I got my degree and my training certificate. I invited Emma to the cafe. She asked me to pick her. I wanted to make a good impression on her. So I took one of my stepfather's luxury and expensive car. When I went to pick Emma, her roommates were praising my car. It was going to be our first date. I remember she was very confused at that time. Well, we both went to a good cafe and ordered food for her choice. I finally took some courage and proposed to her after hearing this, all she remained is for a while. Then she told me that she will give an answer tonight. I was really anxious about her response. I bought her a red rose on the way home. I went to my home, took warm shower and began to wait for her response. It was about 2 a.m. at night that I still got no call from her. I thought she might not be angry with my idea. I was about to call her suddenly I received a call from her. She told me that she has agreed to marry me after hearing to her. Response. I literally wanted to dance. It seemed like my dream came true. I hurriedly ran to my mother's room and told her that I met a girl, Emma, to whom I wanted to get married. After listening to me, she was quiet. When I asked her what happened, she told me that my stepfather wanted me to marry his niece. I clearly said my mother that my stepfather has no right to decide my life partner. It had never showed me fatherhood. Before next morning, when I went to a breakfast table, my mother put forward my thoughts to my stepfather. He simply said that he obviously has no problem regarding this. He even declared that he has no right to interfere in my life. 
I was shocked by his response. My mother was also having complex thoughts. After listening to him, I wanted to marry her as soon as possible. Once I was so high and we both had some erotic chat. She even used to send her hot pictures. I was desperately waiting for her after having a relationship of about five months. Finally, it was our wedding day. My stepfather did not join my wedding ceremony as he was out of town that time for an urgent international meeting. Emma was amazed to see our beautiful and luxurious bungalow. She was continuously training the new technologies in our house. The way she was gazing at the garage was like she had never washed the car before. In her life, her awkward reaction and facial expressions after seeing my stepfather's banga was really perplexing and kind of irritating. I remember I was continuously insisting Emma to go with me in our bedroom. But she was engaged in visiting my stepfather's banga. I then held her hands and we moved towards our bedroom. It was our first wedding night. I told her that I will take care of her forever. I gifted her a beautiful gold jewelry set. I was expecting that she would like the gift. But unfortunately, she said that she was expecting to have a diamond jewelry set. I really did not like a materialistic thought, but I kissed her hand and promised her to buy a diamond jewelry set. I found some inappropriate marks on her body. She told me that when she was a kid, she used to buy it herself. It was kind of strange and worth noticing, but I did not consider the matter and cuddle her. That was really a super time with her. The next morning when we both went to the breakfast table, there was a young lady sitting on the sofa when I asked her who she was. She told me that she was the sugar baby of my stepfather. She further told me that my stepfather gifted her a separate apartment and car but not left her pregnant. She was crying badly and yelling that my stepfather was not picking her calls. Now she did not want to get rid of her baby. I was literally shocked after hearing from this young lady. I did not know before that my stepfather could be like that. My wife seemed also demented. My mother was normal as she did not care. And as she was used to with my dad's behavior, I remember the same night I went to dinner in a restaurant with my wife. My wife asked me about my stepfather like what his business activities and interests are. It was really so irritating for me. I even angrily told her that please stop asking these deep questions. My father said to her clearly that we are here for our own gossips. But for you, my stepfather is center of conversation. She seemed embarrassed and then apologized. Well, we ordered her favorite food after the dinner. She insisted that I wanted to go for shopping. We went to a big mall in town where she purchased a lot of expensive stuff, including makeup, skincare products, handbags, perfumes, and much more. I did not have enough bank balance to pay for her shopping. I even told her to be patient but she was not ready to understand when we were about to go home. She was literally shouting at me that I did not allow her to do more shopping. That creepy behavior literally ruined my mental peace. I did not understand why she loved to blow the money. She should understand her husband's financial condition just like other good wives, but she never did this. After three months of our marriage, my stepfather reached there at the Bangalore from out of station. I did not understand why my wife is really excited to meet my stepfather. My stepsister planned a wonderful welcome party for my stepfather where she invited a lot of people. The decoration and overall setup of the party was really organized and superb. My wife took an active part in the welcome party arrangement. When my stepfather entered the party, he was really amazed to see my wife who was looking damn hot in purple dress. Everyone in the party was praising my wife. I remember when we were all drinking wine, my stepfather came to my side and said about my wife that she's really pretty. I really did not want my stepfather noticing my wife. I remember when everyone was dancing in the party and my stepfather offered to dance to my wife and she randomly agreed with him as if she was desperately waiting for him.
When we both went to sleep in our bedroom, I showed my wife angriness on what she did. She said that she considered my stepfather as her own father as he's really old. Next morning. I came to know that my stepfather is planning a trip for us all. I simply refused to be a part of this trip, but my wife insisted me that she was fond of outing. Well, we all took flights and soon reached Dubai where we visited Dubai Safari and other fantastic places. I wondered if she was my wife but she was continuously with my stepfather. Even my stepsister observed this thing. I told my wife so many times to stay away from him. But she always used to say that he's just like her own father. The hotel where we stayed was really, really expensive and luxurious. My wife was amazed to see such a wonderful palace. She was desperately taking selfies and uploading them on her social media account. Even I saw her making blocks. To be honest, I saw her this much happy for the first time next night. When we both went to sleep, my side caught on a gift which was hidden under the bed. When I asked her that from where you got all these, she was like a fish out of water and said that she got one for her friend there in this country who bought me everything. When I asked her that we should have a party and college time with your friend, she simply denied and said, no, she had already last night, I wondered how a random person could buy such an expensive gift for her. Finally, after spending two weeks there at Dubai, we all went back to our country America. My wife was literally really happy and thrilled after coming back from Dubai as she was continuously gossiping about Dubai. I got a promotion in my job and got more responsibilities than before. My stepdad was fond of traveling. So he planned another trip, but I refused as I was having tremendous work. Right at that moment, I even did not allow my wife to go with them. But I remember how my wife reacted like she literally began to weep like a child. Her childish behavior was really irritating. I told my wife that how could I spend one week without her. But she did not listen to me. I really did not want my wife to go without me. So I took holiday permission from my boss, but he did not allow me because I had already taken last time. In spite of my great insistence in my forces, my wife did not listen to me. Instead, she was packing her luggage for the trip. That was really disappointing. I did not know why she was doing this all the next day when she was about to go on a trip, she came towards me and then hugged me. I was angry with her. So I did not show any response. She looked at my eyes and said, Honey, I really care for you. But you know better about my academy friends. I want to make them jealous by uploading all snapshots on my social media accounts. I don't know why she always wanted to show off everything even though she used to take pictures of a single cupcake she had for breakfast. Well, I wanted to see her happy. So I kissed her on the forehead and then saw her. I was at my work side where I was really missing her. After four hours, I called her but she was continuously declining my calls. It seemed like she was busy somewhere anyways. She called me later. But when I was about to eat my lunch, she said that she was eating lunch. Meanwhile, my boss called me for an urgent meeting. So I have to say her bye. It was really a time-consuming meeting. After getting free from the meeting, I called my wife but she did not pick up as before. I did not know what's wrong with her. However, after about one an hour, she called me back and said that she was shopping and was in the mall so I could not hear the phone ringing. I told her that I really missed her and requested her to come back. She replied that she was missing me too and will reach home within three days. After three days. When she reached the house, she seemed really happy. Like before when she came from the back, she cuddled me and then gave me some gifts once I was doing my office work. Meanwhile, I got some coffee craving and asked my wife to bring me a cup of coffee. And my wife came with a cup of coffee. She was shivering and said my stepfather was trying to touch her from back. I literally got furious and was about to crawl with him. But my wife calmed me and said, please don't do this. Otherwise he'll do something wrong in your absence. 
remained silent and did not do even my work that day. The next morning when I was eating breakfast, I was literally gazing at my stepfather with my eyes. When I reached the office, I got a text from my wife that my stepfather is continuously staring at me in a bad way. I decided to discuss this matter with my stepfather. I was about to initiate a conversation with him. But before me, he came and told me that my wife is not a good lady. I did not know what's matter. I was thinking about my stepfather and wife in great anxiety. When one of my sincere friends came and asked me the reason for my anxiety. I told him everything and requested him to keep this matter confidential. He gave me a camera pen and described its usage. I was afraid to use this. But that was the only way I fixed a camera pen at my stepfather's room. I got no result in the first day. However, something suspensive happened on the second day that will definitely shock you. My stepfather was doing some work in his bedroom where I have fixed that camera pen. My mother asked my wife to give a teacup to my wife as soon as my wife reads my stepfather's room. I opened the video in order to know what's happening in the bedroom of my stepfather. I was shocked to see my wife blackmailing my stepfather like she had some inappropriate pictures together and was demanding a high amount of money from him. In return for these pictures and chat screenshots, she further said to my stepfather that she had already made up her husband's mind. No one is going to trust you anymore. After hearing these words, I was totally bewildered and shocked. When my wife came to our bedroom, I showed her that video that I recorded from my camera pen. She was beginning to sweat and obviously had no words. At first, she was denying the fact. But later she confessed that she married to me and she thought I was really rich. But later she realized all property belonged to my stepfather. She further said that once she decided to marry me when she first saw me at a luxurious car at a farewell party, hearing my wife's word. I was totally about to cry at my wife's infidelity who was actually there with me just for money. I divorced her at the moment. I literally must say to all men, please stay away from such women who are with you just for money. Remember once the cheater is always the cheater, what would you do if you got into the same situation? Must share your feedback. Your opinion can